just a star. He had that special light that created things. He came to New Orleans, and I was like, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't know who you are, who you think you are. But what are you doing coming here and doing this thing when this place has all this history and charm and culture and you want to do something new in L.A.? And I was like, L.A.? But, you know, it didn't take long. Like, I think the first time I met Rio, he offered to buy me a drink. I was like, I'm good. Thanks. I, like, part feminism, part some weird, I don't know what. And the second time, the second time he was like, please, pal, just, yeah. something dismissive. He was like, whatever, just take the fucking drink. And then, of course, I worked for him after that. Very shortly after that. Yeah. So, anyway, I wrote this long thing because I was like, what do I say to all of you who know who he is and what he was and all those wonderful things? And I was like, well, maybe I'll do my origin story, my Rio story. You know, anyway, there's all kinds of things in here, but I'm not going to do any of it. What I am going to do is the end. And, and, and I'm not... Um, very good at public speaking, so I'm gonna read it. And I do need, though, again, you all to join in at some point. So, Rio was a star. Some nights at El Matador, I would stay late, everyone gone, but me and Rio and a few stragglers, and I see you out there. Rio next to the jukebox. I think we can all picture that moment, right? Rio near the end of the night at the end of the jukebox. Boys are back in town. Southern girls. Simple man. And she's gone. Rio in full karaoke mode.
Thank you. 
Hey, real quick. Alan Maxwell on the bass guitar. Sam Gilmore on the drums. This is Joe Shark on the guitar. Everybody say yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, we're all going up to the bar and get fucked up. Good night. Bobby Hunter. Bobby Hunter.